Alright, welcome back to Nico Knows Tech. I'm of course Nico. So today I wanted to show you a very important mitigation um, and this is a feature that's not even in Windows 10 Home, the Group Policy Editor. Now, in the Group Policy Editor there's a feature which a lot of people don't teach, which is to stop foreign, outside, remote, whatever you call it, server administrators or intruders from running a task on your machine. This is how it works they are able to get administrator privileges because they're convincing your machine that it's on a domain or a corporate network. In those corporate networks, if they're a server administrator, doesn't mean if they're an administrator on your account, as long as they're a server administrator on that domain that they're tricking your computer that you're on, they can do whatever they want. They can push down applications, they can run things even a system. So to mitigate this first, if you're on home, I'm gonna teach you how to unlock the group policy editor in Windows 10 home edition even though it's supposed to be only on Windows 10 Pro. The way it's done and you can check the link in the description there's a link to the download it's safe you can check it if you don't believe me submit it to virus totals and you can see for yourself virus totals is a website which will compare whatever file or URL you submit and it will compare it with 70 plus virus scanners um, of the world and it will verify if uh, I'm telling you the truth or not. So anyway let's begin. So Right here on the desktop, I've already downloaded this batch file, which runs a script. This script is what enables um, the group policy editor to to uh, to run. You'll download it. Doesn't have to be on the desktop. Be in the downloads folder. Doesn't matter. You'll right click on it. Run as administrator. Yes, here. And right now, it's running the deployment image servicing and management tool, which is a Microsoft built-in tool. And it's right now, it's adding package. Windows group policy. Okay, very typical. And then it's going through the process here. Could take a minute, could take five minutes, 15 minutes, depends on how slow your system is. Mostly it's internet connection. Okay, and it's adding it. I already have it. I'm running Windows 10 um, Pro N, but uh, re adding it doesn't hurt anything. So. And this one mitigation that I'm going to teach you once the, the group policy is installed. Here we can hit any key to continue. Okay, now to open the group policy editor, Windows key plus R, G, P, E, and then edit, dot MSC. And this is the group policy editor. I'm going to make it bigger for you guys. Now, the area you wanna to go to, now there's a lot of things you can go here under administrative templates, and uh, then Windows Components. My favorite is going down to OneDrive. In OneDrive, you can prevent OneDrive files from being used as OneDrive being used as storage. Um, some of my videos, especially the Bloater Tron, it'll actually remove OneDrive. And um, I have a, another tutorial coming out, which you know you could just run on demand, a little command, and you can remove OneDrive. But anyway, the purpose of this, the mitigation we're going to do is we're going to go click on Computer Configuration here at the top. Then Windows Settings. Then, you, you guessed it, Security Settings. Now we're going to go to Local Policies. And under Local Policies, we're going to click Security Options. Now this big list can get you in trouble, but this is very powerful. The only one we're going to mess with here because some of these might seem like a good idea to activate, you can lock yourself out of your machine. So we're just going to go to, under Domain Controller, this specific one here, it's called Domain Controller Allow Server Operators to Schedule Tasks. We're going to click on that, and they're going to change it to Disabled. Now if you're not on a corporate network or a domain, like a school computer, government computer, company computer where you have to hit control, delete, and enter your username and password just to turn on the machine, you're not on a domain. Well, this, disabling this is going to prevent malware or an intruder that always tries to convince your machine that you're on a domain, and then all they have to do is claim to be a server administrator of that network, and then they can do anything they want to the machine. Higher level privileges than a, a local administrator on your account, or you. Um, so that mitigation alone is a big deal. And now you have the group policy editor and you have a much more secure Windows 10.
stay tuned for more episodes. And by the way, guys, if you want to support this channel, um, I have my Patreon linked in there, and you can get some good merch. Um, also, join our Discord. I'm helping a lot of guys there. Um, we're having a lot of fun there. We're also um, giving a lot of support for people that are having trouble with Tron. Um, and um, I'm even remoting into some of our users and fixing their machines remotely. And... Um, then showing it off to everybody in Discord so they learn some cool tricks and how to handle some of the worst viruses and also some tech tips for souping up their machine for gaming. Anyway, links are in description. Join us and don't forget, subscribe, guys. We're almost there. Thank you guys so much.